smart healthcare information that's simple to understand so you can improve your health. I'm physical therapist, Dr. Jimmy McKay, and I'll be your host. This month is Women's History Month. To celebrate that, we're bringing on Dr. Joanne Stone, the chair of the Department of Obstetrics, Gynecology, and Reproductive Science at the Icon School of Medicine here at Mount Sinai to learn more about her work. Dr. Stone, welcome to Mount Sinai Live. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Welcome to the show. Let's, let's start with your research. What is it primarily focused on? So I have uh, several different areas of research, but my main focus has been really multiple gestations. Um, I got interested in this you know, many years ago when I was um, a fellow and then a, a young attending. Um, so a lot of the research is looking at outcomes related to twins and higher order multiples, um, procedures that we can do to reduce the complications associated with um, these pregnancies. And lately really got interested in um, uh, twins where they share a placenta and research that involves what we call monochorionic twins because they have much higher risk of, um, of some adverse outcomes. So I'm very excited about that, um, as well as uh, research that involves um, prenatal diagnosis. So uh, looking at um, a procedure called CVS, chorionic bill sampling, where we can actually test a fetus and, um, and find out if the genetics are normal as much as we can test for. And again, applying that to multiple gestations as well. Let's, uh, let's focus on high-risk pregnancies. Your research on high-risk pregnancies, what does that interest you? Where does that interest come from? Well, I mean, high risk, high risk pregnancy is really the area of specialty that, that I'm in. It's called maternal fetal medicine. So we focus on patients who um, have uh, conditions that either place the fetus at a higher risk or the mom at a higher risk. So, for example, somebody that has hypertension or diabetes or other medical disorders or the fetuses may have, uh, may have an abnormality. And so we can actually, um, in cases of certain fetal abnormalities, do, do uh, procedures where we can actually change the outcome. So a fetus that's anemic, for example, we can actually treat in utero, give a blood transfusion, and, and uh, resolve that issue. So I've heard this term before, and I'm pretty sure our audience has as well, high-risk pregnancy. Talk a little bit about what, what is a high what's considered a high-risk pregnancy. What does that mean? So a high-risk pregnancy is a pregnancy that puts either the mom or the or the fetus at a higher risk for for some complication or or adverse outcome, and it's really you know it's really variable. So you know some people are 35 and they think they're really high risk, but they're otherwise very healthy. They might be a little higher risk for certain issues, but not that high risk. And then there's a woman that you know might have had um, a uh, MI, uh, myocardial infarct in the past, and she's at a higher risk for certain uh, for certain problems, or somebody with cho chronic hypertension or lupus or other disorders. And then patients with you know triplets, they're at much higher risk for um, for premature birth and other complications as well. So it really runs the gamut from you know anywhere anything where the fetus might have a problem or the mom might have a problem. In your uh, intro, we mentioned that you're the chair right now. What contributions do you plan to make as the chair of obstetrics, gynecology, and reproductive science? Well, I have a lot of exciting ideas, but um, one big focus is that on research, really want to um, increase the research focus at, at Mount Sinai in the Department of OBGYN. Um, we have an amazing vice chair of research who's just the energizer bunny, and it's just fabulous. And we're really working on some great projects already, looking at cardiac health and um, pregnancy and lots of different things. So research is a big focus. Of course, wellness, uh, faculty wellness, patient experience, really want to transform the experience for the patients that are delivering here at, at Mount Sinai and our whole health system. Um, so we have great people working on that as well. So really looking at um, everything from the patient perspective to research to clinical, uh, new clinical initiatives. It doesn't sound like you're going to hold back, so that's good. I can tell you're ready to, to really take take a big leap there. Um, there's a there, there's a, a a type of clinic, the first Rainbow Clinic, Mount Sinai's first Rainbow Clinic, dedicated to reducing stillbirths. Let's talk about that. What should the audience know about that? So this is so super exciting. We've been working on this, um, boy, for close to a year now. Um, so in the UK, there are um, uh, there was one Rainbow. Rainbow Clinic that was started, and it's really taking care of families that have suffered a stillbirth in a prior pregnancy. So the current pregnancy, the baby they're carrying is a rainbow baby. 
Um, and um, it started with one out there, 20 out there, and they've really shown a large reduction in reducing uh, recurrent stillbirth. So I was approached um, last year uh, to start this first rainbow clinic here. So we're really modeling it after the UK. Um, we received generous support from um, Push from Power Pregnancy, which is a nonprofit organization who jump started this. We're launching it um, within the next, this week, I think we're launching it. And so it's, it's wonderful. It's really being able to give comprehensive and really compassionate care with emotional support to these families who've had a stillbirth previously. Well, to celebrate Women's History Month, finding uh, more information about the research going on here at Mount Sinai. Dr. Stone, we appreciate your insight. You can find us at Mount Sinai NYC on all major social platforms. This has been another Mount Sinai Live broadcast. We stream smart healthcare information that's simple to understand so you can improve your health. I'm your host, physical therapist, Jimmy McKay. Thanks for watching.